నల్ల నరసింహారెడ్డి ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సొసైటీస్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హైదరాబాద్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ జి సుబ్బారావు వెల్కమ్ ఆల్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ స్టడీ ఆఫ్ ఫిజికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ మినరల్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఓన్లీ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫార్మ్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మినరల్ ఈజ్ డిఫైండ్ యాజ్ ఇట్స్ షేప్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మినరల్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద షేప్ ఆఫ్ ద మినరల్ వెన్ మినరల్స్ form in environments they commonly develop into regular geometric shapes called as crystals which are bounded by smooth faces for example if we see the picture one is cube that is the shape or we can say the form for the mineral cube is one example for form octahedron is another example for form tetrahedron icosahedron dodecahedron or some other forms which are used for some of the minerals the crystal form for a given mineral is in fact governed by the its internal structure and may be distinctive enough to help identify the mineral so totally the form of a particular mineral is governed by the its internal structure so that it uh, helps to identify the mineral when we study the form in detail coming to shape of the crystal or a mineral we usually say euhedral subhedral and anhedral in case of euhedral we can see the faces how they are developed in such a case it is called as euhedral and if there is no face at all in case of c in such a case it is called as anhedral and sometimes a crystal is developed partially with the faces in such a case it is called as subhedral hence shapes of a mineral may be either euhedral or anhedral or sometimes subhedral this is a mineral amethyst beautifully the faces are developed hence its form is euhedral it's very clearly shown in the both the pictures garnet another mineral is a special special type variety in garnet all the faces are well developed i mean rhombohedron faces are developed and we can say euhedral form this is augite here also the faces are developed not so well but however one can identify the face hence we can call it as euhedral form hematite there is no face at all properly that is the reason we can say that uh, the hematite mineral is anhedral in this case some of the forms with uh, examples are mentioned in the table lamellar form which is best example for muscovite and biotite so the meaning of lamellar form is i mean the mineral appears as thin separable layers that means 
each layer can be removed very easily. That is why it is called as lamellar form and muscovite and biotite are very good examples for lamellar forms. Similarly, chavalar form which is exhibited by the minerals barystes, felspars, gypsum. So here the minerals appears as slabs of uniform thickness. Its thickness is a bit more when compared to lamellar form. Coming to another form is fibrous. Best example is asbestos mineral. So one can find very fine threads in asbestos. That's why the name fibrous has come for fibrous form. Similarly, pisolytic form for bauxite, rhombic form for garnet, that means rhombic shape, bladed form for kyanite. So, kyanite is the peculiar mineral where it has so many independent blades or latch shaped grains can be seen. That's why kyanite exhibits bladed form. Also, we can see granular form for chromite, graphite, magnetite, calcite. We can find uh, granular form. Reniform for a hematite, kidney shaped. Prismatic form, especially for tourmaline, beryl, olivine, agate, where the crystal faces are elongated, lengthy ones. Spongy form for pyrolyzite and bauxite, where mineral has porous nature. Cubic form, this is well exhibited by the minerals pyrite, galena, spinel, so that one can see the cubic shape very clearly. Massive form is another one which has no definite shape. So there are so many minerals, olivine, agate, quartz, magnesite, jasper, pyrolcite, sometimes even calcite may not be identified due to its uh, improper uh, shape and uh, nodular form which is exhibited by manganese nodules generally spherical in the shape. Now let us see some of the minerals lamellar form, muscovite and biotite so that these mineral minerals can be separated very easily with the help of a pin, both muscovite and biotite. These are belonging to mica group with the help of a needle or a pin, the layers of muscovite or biotite can be separated. Foliated form is another type of uh, form in mica. So mineral appears as thin separable layers, here also the layers can be separated from each and every layer. Chabler form which is exhibited by varieties. So uh, thin tablets or paper like uh, slabs, I mean uniform uh, thickness are identified in the tabular form which is exhibited by varieties. This is also another varieties sample where it exhibits a tabular form. This is the asbestos. Here we can see very clearly the fibers. The fibers are nothing but fine threads and the mineral appears in this way and these threads also can be separated with the help of a pin or needle. Pisolytic form, best example is bauxite. So where the mineral appears as spiracles, one can find spiracles or elliptoidals. This is the characteristic feature for bauxite, pisolytic form. Rhombic form is exhibited by garnet, 
it was already explained bladed form mineral appears as independent blade or lath shaped grains so this bladed form is exhibited by kyanite and the granular form equidimensional grains of coarse or medium or fine grain can be seen and uh, which is exhibited by chromite so chromite exhibits granular form so many equidimensional grains of coarse or medium or fine can be seen hematite which is usually occurs in kidney shape hence we can say hematite exhibits reniform it occurs in kidney shape and the hematite also occurs in a different uh, form or a different shape that is called as botryoidal shape botryoidal means nothing but a, a accumulation of grapes in such a way is a very similar to grapes how the grapes are hanging from the top hence it is called as botryoidal form tourmalin another important mineral which occurs as prismatic that's why tourmalin exhibits prismatic form they are very sharp the needles are very sharp pyrite always occurs as cubic hence we can say pyrite has cubic form or cubic shape one can see the cubic form of pyrite very clearly in the picture spinel of course it may be available both in cubic as well as octahedral in shape that's why spinel form is either cubic or octahedral this is quartz is a massive form occurring in a, a different color hence it is called as rose quartz which has no face hence we can call or we can say quartz exhibits massive so its shape is massive the manganese a nodule type is a uh, similar to nodules hence we can say manganese form is nodule this is a mineral called rutile where it uh, appears as needles that's why we can call it as acyclic form this is a mineral fluorite is totally crystallized hence the form is crystallized that means all the faces are well developed in all sides copper sulfate beautiful crystals can be seen in all sides that's why its form is crystallized these are some of the gemstones so some of the gemstones are having faces some of the gemstones are not maintained uh, the shapes or forms already we have seen garnet for example rhombohedron shape these are also another set of gemstones in the top row pyrite is seen pyrite occurs in cubic shape that's why its form is cube and quartz which is massive form since it has no proper shape rose quartz which is also a massive form 
Thank you.